here. So what I'm doing is a 360 right now. And what you can use that for is to see how the light is, best angles to interview somebody. So in this case, I got nice cinematic lighting right there. I got a screen behind me, looks good. And I keep on going so you can see everything around uh, my position. Also, I cut my hand, which I'll show you a little picture of how I cut my hand when I hold the phone. But I gotta get somebody to take a picture of me cupping my hand on the phone. Bill, it's late in the day, but I want to show you how I would set up an interview. I'd probably interview about right here with my iPhone with someone. You know, I'd use good mics and we'd set the camera up just shooting across the field. But I also look at my background, look at the light. As I go around, I can do a 360 and see how that looks. You can see it's a little dark here. Off to the west is the sun. We're a little past the magic hour. It'd be nice, maybe 45 minutes to an hour ago would be ideal. But um, anyway, this is how I do it. And maybe I look back here. Really don't like that background too much. But this is how I would probably set up my shot for this evening. Me, we have the Reno Town Mall where we're gonna have some of our training in their conference room, which hold 120 people, very good system for training. Be able to keep the price down for those indie podcasters and new podcasters. Behind us, we've got the Alanis Hotel, where our primary event will be. The vendors will be there, and uh, it will be a wonderful event. Uh, furthermore, in the Reno Town Mall, and I'll show you a quick cut, we have a radio station we're working with to uh, do video and broadcasting. So it's going to be a cool event, Freedom of Speech, May I believe it's May 15th or 13th through 15th. It should be an excellent event. See you there in Reno, Nevada for the Freedom of Speech Awards with the National Association of Podcasters.